Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore India's ambitious mission to establish a research lab 6,000 meters beneath the ocean, a place where humans could live and work in one of the most extreme environments on the planet. And that vision is now taking shape through a series of groundbreaking missions beneath Indian waters. The Indian government's National Institute of Ocean Technology, or NIOT, under the Deep Ocean Mission Samudrayan program, is building a scientific submersible Matsya 6000 that can take three crew to a depth of 6,000 meters under the ocean on a 12-hour mission. The mission involves four hours of descent, four hours of in-situ deep ocean exploration, and four hours of ascent. Subsequent to the successful qualification of Matsya's mission-critical systems during the harbor wet test early this year, demonstration of the maiden human mission up to 500-meter water depths is planned before mid-2026. As a part of the deep ocean mission, development of autonomous underwater vehicles and robotic systems is also undertaken in NIOT. As a continuation of this, NIOT is also exploring a future concept of establishing a long-term underwater lab, which is 6,000 meters under the ocean. This underwater habitation concept is part of the scientific and exploratory vision that is being ideated for the year 2047. Deep ocean research is essential to understand potential resources such as gas hydrates, polymetallic nodules, and cobalt-rich ferromanganese crusts. Monitor climate change and ocean acidification. Understand planetary-scale processes such as tectonic activities. Discovering unique life forms around hydrothermal vents that provide insights on evolution of life on Earth. Explore and protect its vast, largely unexplored biodiversity. Understanding ocean circulation processes that transport heat across the planet, thus stabilizing climate, Dr. N. Vidachalam, Director, Deep Ocean Technologies Group, NIOT, explained to Weon. As deep ocean research takes an extended period of time to yield results, sustained human presence in the deep ocean lab would enable better insights into these research areas, experts from NIOT say. Human presence in these long-term underwater observatories is crucial as human presence allows for real-time decision-making in situ experimentation as application of human expertise cannot be fully replicated by automated systems alone. It is just like how astronauts carry out experiments in the International Space Station, an orbiting lab that circles 400 kilometers above the Earth. The idea behind this underwater lab is to expand upon the learning and technological developments that India would gain from the mission Samudrayan. For setting up such a facility, India would have to exponentially scale up the technologies that will be a part of Samudrayan. Experts point out that a habitable underwater lab would require a reliable supply of power and oxygen, mechanisms to remove carbon dioxide, a rugged structure with transparent view through safe docking and undocking of deep ocean submersibles with the underwater lab to enable transport of crew to the lab and back and ability to launch and retrieve underwater robotic vehicles remotely from and to the lab. Human factors associated with long-term psychological and physiological well-being in these habitats also require due consideration. The ongoing indigenous developments by NEOT's Deep Ocean Technology Group in autonomous underwater vehicles with homing and docking, swarm capabilities and robotic intervention systems could serve as resident vehicles in the underwater lab, serving as spatial range extenders that enable scientists to conduct experiments up to several kilometers around the underwater lab, Dr. Vedachalam added. The very environment at depths of 6,000 meters poses multiple challenges due to extreme pressure, low temperature, lack of communication, and geolocation. India would have to build an underwater lab that would withstand such extreme conditions while housing scientists and their equipment within. As part of the development process, such a lab would be gradually tested at relatively safe depths of a few hundred meters before venturing into the unexplored, deeper depths of the ocean. 
On the possible locations for such an underwater lab, Dr. Vedachalam said that they could be deployed in unique areas of study. At 1,000 meter water depth in the Krishna Godavari Basin, to study and explore gas hydrates, which is a source of natural gas. At 3,000 meter depths, to study the sulfide deposits at hydrothermal vents and polymetallic nodules at 5,500 meter water depths in the central Indian Ocean. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.